Good morning students. Welcome to Geography Academy. In this video we are going to learn about the types of heights which are used in a topographical map. In our topographical map the type of heights that are used are number 1 is triangulated height, number 2 spot height, number 3 relative height. Now this relative height can also be termed as relative depth. Now this depth is uh, when we calculate the depth of a well. Let us now quickly learn in detail about this particular types of height. The triangulated height is determined using principles of trigonometry. It gives you one of the accurate measurement. And this is the major symbol which is being used, the triangle. In your topo sheet, you can see something around triangulated height 224 or maybe triangulated height 256 or triangulated height 576 and so on. The digits, values, everything might vary. But this indicates the accurate determined principles of trigonometry. This triangulated height is also referred to as the triangulation points or triangulation stations whose heights from mean sea level are calculated using the trigonometry. You can see how the trigonometry looks like. Next we have a spot height. In this given topographical map, you can see this is a triangulated height, right? Now here you can also get to see one dot is given in black where 295 is written. This indicates the spot height of the place is 295 meters. So here the value of triangulated height was 277 meters from mean sea level. Please do ensure to write mean sea level in your answer. And this is 295 meters from the mean sea level. Also ensure to write the meters. So this unit and this one is very much compulsory when you are interpreting such symbol. Next we have relative height or relative depth, right? Here you can see something is written in 13 R. It is written as 13 R, okay? In your map, you can also get to see 20 R. So what does this relative height or relative depth indicate? See, it is a height or depth of a feature with reference to the elevation of the surrounding land, not from with the reference to the mean sea level. For the previous one, we had done the mean sea level part, right? For this one, it is the surrounding land that we are talking about. This means it is calculated from the ground level and not from the mean sea level. It is depicted by the letter R, which is preceded by a number. You can see over here, we have the numbers which are written, whether it is 13R or 20R or 5R, whatever it is, you will see that what number is written before the R is being mentioned over there. Relative height of a peak, dam, embankment, river or stream bank and sand dunes are commonly shown on the map that will, we will be studying in the next few maps. But we calculate the relative depth in case of water body such as lake, tank or well. And for the perennial water bodies, the relative depth is usually written in blue. So for the relative height and depth, you will get to see two colors. One is in black and the is in blue. Blue is usually for water bodies. And this also indicates what? The depth. Okay. So I hope it is clear that what is triangulated height, what is a spot height and what is a relative height or relative depth. There is another topic in your syllabus that is a benchmark. Now this benchmark is indicated with BM. Okay. This is actual photo of the benchmark wherever it is demarcated. And in your topo sheet, you will get to see something written as BM 377 or 461 or 256 or any anything like the numbers can vary. But the symbol here is what BM. Okay. So this is the benchmark. So students, in today's class, we have covered the following topics. That is the triangulated height, the spot height, the relative height or the relative depth as well as a benchmark. 